What up, guys? We're back at it with some Fable the Lost Chapters No Exploit playthrough. Did a couple of the uh, earlier quests, and we got Trader Escort coming up here now. But what I'm thinking I want to do first, very least, I want to do like a singular run through. I feel like I'm probably just going to get Molly Whopped. If I just try to like go through the Trader Escort normally, and fight stuff along the way, I feel like I'm probably gonna get molly whopped. So what I'm, I'm basically gonna try to divide it into two. I'm gonna do the run through first without having to escort any traders. After I've done that once, I'll go back through and escort the traders, except for I'm not gonna fight stuff along the way. I'm just gonna run right through, right? You know what I mean? So that way I can get the, uh, the experience for killing everything in Great Wood and Dark Wood. But then also, uh, I can just run through with the traders when I do the quest and not have to worry about uh, failing the quest, you know? And it's so dark in this game. In Fable Anniversary, when it's dark in game, it doesn't actually get all that dark in game. It's actually like, it'll be nighttime, but it'll still be like fairly well lit for light time. It's like back in the day when, when it got dark in games, they actually like made it dark. And it seems like nowadays they just kind of change like the color temperature. You know what I mean? Like with Anniversary, it's pretty much like, oh, it's the daytime. I guess it's a warm color temperature. And it's like, oh, it's the nighttime. I guess it's a cool color temperature. Like it, it just like shifts between yellow and blue, basically, is what goes on there. You got to have a valid pass to get in here. Rip this swine's arms off. I probably just like literally decapitated him, and he said, "Rip the swine's arms off," as if I didn't just rip his fucking head off. It's okay though. I'll forgive it. I don't know. How many people realize this, but you want to start, like, if you do actually care about, like, experience and killing all of them and, like, OCD and all that stuff. Otherwise, if you don't care, like, who cares, you know, if some enemies run away, right? But you want to kill these guys first, because if you work on the other group of, uh, if you work on the other group of bandits first, and then you, like, kill the, uh, bandit leader dude or whatever, the boss guy, the rest of them will run away, so. Like, I have a fucking augmented crossbow. What the fuck? But yeah, if you do actually care about killing all of them, the, half of them will run away if you kill the boss guy before the other guys, you know? I'm pretty sure in the original Lost Chapters, combat was, like, a lot more fair. Enemies blocked a lot less, etc., etc. Especially with the Redux mod, though. With the Redux mod, in Anniversary mode, they block too much, bro. They block so much that it makes the game, like, nearly unplayable. In this game, it's, like, you know, actually, like, getting speed and physique means something, you know what I mean? Like... Steel pick hammer. Oddly enough, I feel like that might actually be the strongest weapon I have, but I think the pick hammers also might be so weak that even the steel pick hammer is going to be weaker than the uh, iron everything else. Yeah, what the fuck, bro? I don't know how much difference it'll actually make, but like if it doesn't do at least two fucking fire damage, like why does it even exist? You know what I mean? That's the thing I never exactly liked about the augments is that they don't really uh, make a whole lot of sense. I mean, I'm like, I'm sure they do. Like, if you could have somebody sit there and explain them to you, I'm sure they would make more sense. But it's like, the bottom line is that there is no explanation on, like, really any of them. Like, they don't really ever tell you. Maybe if you, like, get, like, the actual guidebook for Fable, it explains some of this stuff. But, like, you would think that if it did, some of that stuff would make its way into, like, wikis and stuff like that, right? But it's like, what exactly do all the augments do? Like, they never actually explain that to you in this game. If you have a fire augment, like, okay, well, what does that actually do to something that's weak against fire? Does it double the damage? Does it triple the damage? Does it add damage? Like, like sharpening augmentation is, like, pretty self-explanatory. And then, like, once you use it, it's even more self-explanatory. It's like, oh, it literally just adds damage to the weapon, right? Which is, like, half the reason why that was always my favorite augment. Because it was, like, kind of the only one that, like, made sense. And, like, gave you, like, a little teeny tiny bit of gratification as far as, like, what, to, what its purpose is. You know what I mean? Unlike the piercing augmentations, where you're sitting there like, okay, well, what the fuck exactly does a piercing augmentation do, right? Like, and that is one thing that I did actually appreciate about the, uh, the Redux mod was that, well, it, it added a little bit more purpose to some of the augments that just didn't really have a purpose before. Boom. See, Assassin Rush is pretty good. If I had to choose between blocking and rolling or using Assassin Rush, fucking Assassin Rush every time, bro. Blocking and rolling sucks in this game, dude. See, it's tempting to do the minion challenge demon door, but it's like, I already know I'm not going to get anything I actually want out of the demon door. And, uh, you know, I'm not actually 100% confident that I could beat the challenge. I think I might end up getting heal life at some point, because, you know, it's like anything to, like, get me to use less potions, really. Ooh, I think this is the leather boot. That, like, little teeny tiny boost in defense might actually help me a little bit here. It says 33 versus 25. Yeah, we got, like... Seven extra, eight extra defense from that. That's neat. 
We're gonna sell one of these just for the uh yeah boy. Look at how much more damage that does. It's insane. Like even just comparing it to like a cleaver or something, like fucking the axe, bro. Like boom, bitch. Like how about instead of the axe, you fucking double your damage and just go for the greatsword, right? That was a very short-lived uh steel pick hammer. Damn, dude, we actually do damage. Oh, shit. What are you doing here, bro? Oh, no. That's not what I like. Come on, bro. Fuck these guys, honestly. <laughs> what we got here? 250 gold is what they really put in a fucking chest for no reason. It is simple, but only when you know how. Oh, cool. I got my resurrection file back. Plus 59. Plus 66. I know. This is ridiculous, right? We're fucking really min-maxing on the, uh, the leather armor here. <laughs> Man, look at me go. With my half leather armor and half apprentice hoodedness. And yeah, 100% the hooded apprentice robe was 100% the reason why we got the legs instead of the torso. See, that's nice. These guys are one hitters now. Except for this guy, but we don't talk about that guy. It is like kind of ridiculous how much slower you do actually swing the great swords in this game. It is a significant difference, I gotta say. How did she survive, though? Whoa, man, I'm freaking out. I think I lost you there for a second. Yep, no, just uh, went back to Vietnam there for a second there, but it's all good. All right, I guess now that we've done that, we can uh, officially do the quest, right? We had to have done pretty decent. Oof, it's not as decent as I expected we did, but uh, it uh, we got some stuff, you know? Nice. We can actually, like, buy some strength stuff without actually having to worry about it. Um, what else do we need? Oh, we were going to do heal life. I can't even afford heal life. Wow. Let's do magic power, I guess. Fuck it. Damn, we still can't even do fucking hob cave. Okay. Literally made it all the way to Oakvale killing stuff, and I can't even go to Hob Cave yet. It's crazy. Now, first step, you want to get this bad boy out here real quick. Fucking got him. Dude, that guy's head went clean off, bro. That was a good one. Let's see if we can just run on through. Oh, no. That's not good. Fuck, dude, he's like dying, dying, bro. We go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Yeah, it's not good. Fuck, dude. Wow, that actually worked. Okay. If I can just run through super quick. Oh, no. Come on, 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 come on. Ooh, they survived somehow. That's crazy. I don't know how I managed to pull that off, honestly. Let's get you all healed up, guys. Ancient Cullis Gate is another one where they kind of ambush you. Shit, now we're going to have to actually do this one, I think. Not actually all that difficult, but I uh, got to get these guys to hopefully chase me. God damn it, guys. No. Come on. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Everybody just fuck off. And this is where things get a little annoying. I fucking hate this part, man. This part, like, has the potential to just piss me the fuck off, like, really bad. That's that's the only thing, really. Because it's like, one little tree just, like, kind of doesn't do its fucking job. And it's pretty annoying. Dude, really? Actually, does this count as an exploit? This technically counts as an exploit, doesn't it? God damn it. Good thing uh, blocking and rolling isn't an exploit, am I right? 
This is actually like honestly kind of the easier way to do it anyway. Damn, that dude gave me 1,200 experience. That's actually pretty good. I know the way from here. Follow me. Follow you. How about you follow me since I'm already in front, huh? Mm, yeah, some. Oh fuck. Were there boasts for this quest? I somehow fucked that up again. I really gotta figure that one out though. I like, I keep fucking forgetting about the quest boasts. And like, I do actually kinda need the money. <laughs> like, fuck. I did an entire quest without quest boasting. I could have at least gotten like an extra 400 gold for like, no protection or whatever. Maybe you were getting too, famous to be too famous, he said. Real questions. How much did this house cost? Alright, if we wanted to actually start doing some real estate. Damn. It's actually pretty expensive. Anybody got like a bed by a door I can just like fucking use? Hey, perfect. Bed by a door. Did that count as an exploit? <laughs> Might as well like complete the getup, you know what I mean? Yesterday. Oh, my trouble seems so far away! Look at me, I'm a hero. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. <laughs> How long is Hop Cave gonna take? Should be able to get ourselves a heal life. Got some healies now. Damn, bro. We really can't even do Hob Cave yet, huh? That's honestly crazy. We're gonna do... We're gonna play this game the right way. We're gonna play this game the way nobody played this game before. Not that one. Bowerstone. What a ridiculous mini game. Show your trophy to everybody in town, bro. Like, what the fuck do you mean that's a fucking mini game? Oh, come on, bro. It's not what I wanted to fucking happen, but thank you. Show it to the... Oh, there's a guy right here. Go to this person... Go to this person. These fucking kids would show up. That'd be great. I could show it to them too. See, it's like, I honestly like don't even understand because you straight up can't actually show it to everybody. Wow, 15 fucking renowns. Yeah, no, I guess we're going to go grind because that's insane. I somehow ended up tricked into believing you could actually get renowned for that. Apparently you can't actually get renowned for that. And by can't actually get renowned, of course, I mean like you can spend fucking 10 minutes doing that for like half of an enemy's worth of renown. Like, no, I'm just gonna go to the gray house. Since the uh, mobs here aren't uh, fully respawning yet, since I don't have the uh, renown level for that, it technically doesn't count as a meta grind. Boom. All right, this first one didn't count. Now, now this one counts. We gotta like sort of come up with some definitions here for things to like remain consistent. And it's like, what, what exactly do we consider meta gaming? What exactly is considered, like, a meta level of grinding? Because, like, I don't know if this game is even possible to play without, like, at least some amount of grinding, right? But what do we can what do we consider to be, like, a little bit too meta, right? I think specifically, like, overpowered grinding spots is about where we should draw the line. Like, anything where you have, like, unlimited spawning enemies or anything crazy like that, basically no. Nothing like, uh, you know, punch the dude in Bowerstone Quay for infinite fucking strength experience. Nothing like that. Real question is, how long of a quest even is, uh, Hob Cave? Can we actually do this one in a fair amount of time? I mostly just, I don't really want to do, like, Bandit Sirius right now, you know what I'm saying? Wow, that actually, like, kind of heals a lot. I'm not even gonna lie. That's another thing, too, though, is, like, I am actually kind of pretty sure that, uh, Hob Cave has an endless spawn during this quest, so... Does that count? How does that work, right? Ooh, but you know what it is? That's right, so in, in Fable Anniversary, enemies kind of had a tendency to ignore your followers, right? Like, if if you were available to be attacked, they would attack you and pretty much ignore your follower completely. In this game, it's like pretty much 50-50, right? Like, once again, I've forgotten to quest boast. I don't know what the fuck my problem is. Somebody needs to, like, just tattoo it on my forehead or something. I don't know. Yeah, like, in this game, it's like a bit more 50-50. It's like, there's like a 50-50 chance that it's going to be either you or your follower getting attacked. So it's like, you got to, like, stay on top of that shit in this game. You really do. I still don't understand the hexagon key because you quite literally don't need it. You can access everywhere in Hob Cave without it. Damn, dude, these guys are actually pretty good. Dude, I don't know, man. The game without uh, slow time is a pretty dangerous game. I'll tell you what, though, not being able to heal while you're in the middle of getting attacked is uh, kind of scary. Damn, dude, how much fucking reach you got on that thing? That was ridiculous. I have a feeling this guy's just gonna straight up get fucking killed. I'm honestly fucking trying, dude. This is like not easy. This straight up is not easy. You really gotta like use that flourish when you got like a whole fucking army of hobs. At least now we got like a little helpful dude. 
Thank you. There is kind of like a lot of shit to kill on this this mission. Honestly, not that fucking quick of a mission if you're like actually like going through it like this. This guy's out here getting fucking molly whopped, bro. He really is, too. That's the crazy part. Like, I'm not even gonna be able to donate this guy to the fucking nymph he's getting so molly whopped. I bet there is, too, but I don't even have enough keys, bro. Can you fuck off, bro? My goodness. Dude, what the fuck right now? Honestly? Some fucking time, bro. It's like, where are these hits even coming from? What the fuck? Oh, he's fucking dead. Oh, shit. Yeah, he got straight fucked on. I thought I was playing the death music. Goddamn right he's dead. Crazy part, I could have straight up healed the dude, too. Fuck, I'm gonna have to fight the nymph now. Come on, bitch. Where you at? Dude, fuck you. I fucking hate this game sometimes, bro. Like... How are you just gonna disappear right when I shoot you, dude? That's just fucking cheap shit. Fuck, dude, that's right. This fucking dumbass kid, bro. Really about to get himself fucking killed. Yeah, that's right. They keep fucking spawning in. And pretty much the only way to avoid it is to just fucking dang old go. Because they do. They, they, they spawn infinitely there, by the way. Either they spawn infinitely or there's like 30 waves of them. Because they straight up don't stop. I think this one, too. They spawn infinitely. Shit. That's what I mean. This guy comes from like the bottom there and like... Where's the kid at? You see what I'm saying though? It's, it gets fucking crazy crazy, dude. Shit, dude. Fuck off already, bro. Fucking, okay, yeah, the only way to do this is to just fucking go, dude. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Run faster, run faster, run faster, run faster. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Go, 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 go. Why is the door so far away? Oh my god, bro. See, like, this fucking game is, like, sometimes fucking impossible when you, like, don't have all the things. You know what I mean? Like, Hob Cave is actually, like, a really fucking difficult quest if you're not metagaming. Like, if you're not prepared for Hob Cave, it's, like, borderline fucking impossible. It really is. Just because they, they don't stop spawning. They literally don't stop spawning. Like, if you don't have a way to just, like, get the fuck out of there, you're fucked, bro. Like, you are... That, the kid is going to die 100% of the time. How much did I get from that? That's fair. So who am I? I'm the dude who just fucking killed your kid. I give you a hug. Don't worry. And now I have my own house. We got some good experience. We got some half decent cash. I can actually like buy that home in Oakvale now if I wanted to. Could that is like the thing. Like we kind of like need income. You know what I mean? Like we don't really have it at this point. I definitely want slow time. That's for sure. Certain parts of this game are just like a little bit too hard without slow time. Sadly, I've kind of like gotten past like some of the hardest shit without slow time. But still, it's pretty crush. So yeah, we're gonna go to Oakvale, get the uh, Oakvale house, cause you gotta. How much rent do you actually even get? I'm pretty sure it's straight up fucking nothing. It's gonna be a long time before we make our 5k back, that's for sure. And for the sake of all things holy, I kind of just want to see what we get rent-wise from this house, you know what I'm saying? How did I get- literally nobody fucking saw me, but okay. Fucking hate this game sometimes, bro. Literally didn't fucking do anything, but okay. Oh shit, it's right fucking there. Ridiculous. Fuck it, I don't give a shit, dude. Oh cool, 375, that's more than I thought it would be. That's actually decent, I'm not gonna lie. I remembered it being a lot worse. Yeah, I mean, it's it's gonna take a while to pay for itself for sure. But I mean, like, you know, that's enough to where it's like, you show up after like doing some questing or whatever, and like, boom, you've got some money for more potions, right? Like, even if it's just for like some, some quick potion money or something, right? Like, boom, you, you run into town, you got some money to splash on like, you know, five potions or something, and uh, boom, bada bing, bada boom, right? So that's not like too bad. I think at this point, as far as like weaponry and armor goes, I think we're gonna try to stick with what we got for now and try to spend most of our money on real estate at this point. So at this point, we're, we're, we're like an investment mogul right now. We're, gonna, we're just investing in properties now and then it's gonna be all profit after a while. We're gonna be making fucking bank. The only thing is I'm not really trying to like expand to like too many different neighborhoods either. So we'll probably just end up buying like all of Oakvale or something and uh, renting all that shit out. 
not really sure exactly what I'll do. Cause I, I, I am like sort of evil, but like I also like, do I really want to kill everybody in Oakvale and stuff? Like it's like a whole thing sort of. But, and you know, we'll we'll figure it out. But yeah, we will get into all of those shenanigans in uh, the next video for sure. That's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, show the algorithm some love and hit that like button for me. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date on all my latest gaming content. Of course, for as little as 99 cents a month, you can become a channel member and help support the channel monetarily. On that note, I'd like to give a special shout out to my active channel members. Thank you all for your continued support. It is definitely greatly appreciated, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.